lightweight bout between Abel Killa Trujillo and Nate Diaz. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow-up strikes on the floor. We are underway. Trujillo gets caught with that punch. Good defense there. And he eats a right hand there. Trujillo circling towards the left side now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Three minutes to go here, round one. Kick to the body by Diaz. They continue to exchange. Really missed with that right hand. Just missed on the overhand left. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Diaz. Tagged him. Getting the hands going here early. Oh, another one to the head by Diaz. Tags him. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Good right hand landed by Diaz. Just out of range with that right hand. Ooh. And he's looking for that left. Trujillo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, huge block. That one hurt. Oh, right-left combo by Diaz. Missed that shot. Just misses there with the left. He's fainting with the punch. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Diaz. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Round two is on the way. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Good punch. Oh! Abel's in big trouble here. He's in real big trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, and he caught the kick. The right hand just misses. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Caught him with a punch. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. How about that chin? Oh, another one. He's in a lot of trouble. Body 
Kick, look at that. Oh, he might be out. Big straight punch. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Trujillo. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Trujillo gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Good defense here, Joe, as the hook to the head is blocked. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. That strike will count. 30 seconds to go in this one. 20 seconds left to go in round two. There's a left hand. Final seconds. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. Huge knockdown for him in that round. Outstanding round from Diaz. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's take a look at that again. And let's get a better look at it from a different angle. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, oh, someone's getting out. Oh, oh. Back to the feet. Oh! This could be it right here. But that one really hurt him. Oh, man! Big body, body shot. shot. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. And he caught the kick. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Whoa! This could be it! Whoa! Back to his feet again, amazing. Big shots! Huge uppercut misses. Well, you gotta love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he did in the previous round and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Oh, Hit him hard with that hook. Oh. oh, very nice. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, he is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Oh, he clipped him. Diaz is circling to his right. Trying to establish that jab oh, once again. Oh, big shot. Wow. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Unable to connect with the right. 15 seconds. Oh! Yeah. Oh. 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 All right, 
So this one will go to a decision, but we should have a clear winner here, Joe. Big discrepancy in terms of the strikes landed between the two fighters. We await the judges' scorecards, but there shouldn't be much suspense in this one. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-26. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ned Diaz! All right, so another win for the 209. Congratulations to Nate Diaz and Team Caesar Gracie.